Here we go, frequency polygon. And for this one, we're actually going to start with Google Docs. And in fact, it's probably, there's not even a point in showing you the Excel. It's the exact same thing. And if I may, every Bremen University student and faculty has access to the full G Suite. And we've been using it more and more the past couple of years as faculty and it is being used more and more in the K-12 world. I have to say this is one of the very first times I've ever truly played with sheets, and I really like the ease, the flexibility, and the customization. So for what it's worth, I recommend using this and not spending your money to buy expensive products when you've got something that you can use, doesn't cost you any extra. So let's get the show on the road. Well, before I can complete a chart, I need to know what I'm dealing with. And I need to know how many kids in total came to my summer camp. So I need to do a quick sum. Okay. Select all the data. And sum, please. Add them up. Check the formula equals. It's adding. Yep, that's correct. There we go. 29 children came to my summer camp. But of those 29, uh, what's the breakout age-wise? Where's my sweet spot? All right, so select all of the data, go to insert, slide down to chart, and of course it's defaulting to its favorite, the column chart, but you know what? That's okay, no big deal because I can easily change it. Look, it's even suggested the line. If I scroll down more, it's there as well, generic, and it's exactly what we wanted. Uh, the ages are on the X, and the frequency is on the Y. So apparently I had more eight-year-olds than any other age at my camp this summer. Oh, yep, yes I did. And wait a minute, here's a way to double check if somebody is being genuine. The chart, if it's working right. Well, what if I, oh, I was wrong. I actually had 12 students. Let's see what happens to my data. 12 11-year-olds. Uh-huh. Hello. So, indeed, this is our frequency polygon. I will set it back to where it was. I believe I only had two. There we go. And my N changed as well. So, I will say it again. Uh, for what it's worth, every Bremen faculty, every Bremen student has access to the whole Google Suite. And I have to say, this demonstration, Excel and Google Docs, uh, Google Sheets, I'm sorry, I have to say Google Sheets really has come out ahead the winner. So there you are. Uh, I hope you enjoy completing this assignment and we move forward.